Om Shanti, welcome back. We are doing the recording of 22nd of September's Godly Blessing where Supreme Father wants us to be constantly happy. No matter what, whatsoever the situation comes, whether it's financial, mental, emotional, relationships, health or anything. Now, this is a practice which cannot be done in one day or achieved in one day, but then yes, we can keep on feeling that level of happiness and keep on practicing no matter what somebody thinks about us, talk something to us, or portray something about us or we have a financial loss or physical loss or mental emotional anything we should never let our happiness go away now that is something which is easy to, easy to say but it can be practiced with spiritual education it can be practiced with soul consciousness it can be practiced with infinitism what I mean to say by infinitism means that I am an infinite being, you are an infinite being and nothing of this physical world actually defines us. Neither our false physical body defines us, nor the money defines us, nor the looks define us, nor the clothes, nor the wealth, nor the car, nor the house, nor the relationships which have defined us. It is we, how we define ourselves is what is our story. It's very well mentioned or documented in certain people's biographies that they were the ones who were the dictators of their own life or the writers or the autobiographers of their own life. Now what kind of autobiography do I want to write about myself depends upon me no matter what somebody talks about me. So this is a mindset, it's an attitude, it has to be developed over a period of time. Attitude comes after you develop a sanskar or a habit. Now this sanskar comes or a habit is developed once we keep on thinking one thing again and again. If I keep on thinking sad things about me, if I keep on thinking about what people talk about me, then that becomes a habit and automatically I'll have a low self-esteem or a feeling of low self-esteem. So God here wants us to be constantly happy no matter what. So let's explore what he means to say. He says, may you be constantly happy and carefree and remain protected from any shadow of Maya by staying under the canopy of the Father's protection. So the way to protect yourself from Maya's shadow is to stay under father's canopy of protection. So here Maya means any form of negative trait, any form of negative attitude, any form of negative feeling. So anger is a negative feeling, ego is a negative feeling, jealousy is a negative feeling, greed is a negative feeling. So if we can make sure that none of these get triggered by any situations or any person in our life, greed doesn't get triggered, anger doesn't get triggered, ego doesn't get triggered by any situation or any person in our life then we can be happy so the practice is all about not letting these get triggered now, it's something known as uh, you know you're working on your laptop and you see a virus pop up in front of you you have to quarantine it or you have to make sure that the virus is deleted or it is removed or cleansed similarly the mind also needs de-virusing or it needs some time of some kind of quarantine so we have to develop methods or we have to retrain our mind so that we can remove these viruses. So the way to protect yourself from Maya's shadow is to stay under father's canopy of protection. That means the guidance which we receive from the supreme light. To stay under this canopy of protection means to remain happy. Hand over all your worries to the father. Now the supreme creator or God or Allah or Jehovah. Hand over all your worries to the Father. Those who lose their happiness and become weak definitely have Maya shadow over them because any weakness invokes Maya. So those who lose their happiness and become weak definitely have Maya shadow. That means any kind of negativity, impurity comes to their mind and they become affected by it. Any kind of situation, any kind of person saying anything to them or creating any kind of situation affects them. So that is the Maya shadow. Now let's say somebody says something about you or somebody pokes you in certain manner or makes fun of you in certain manner and certain things get triggered in your mind immediately. That is also a trigger and that is what is Maya and it can trigger ego in you, it can trigger any kind of remorse in you, it can trigger any kind of ill feeling about the other person in you and it might be triggering from something in your past which has been there as an application in your software. That means an application in your mind, which is a part of the soul. Now we have to, in meditation, think about deeply about those different, different applications which are still running in the background and we don't need them to be there. 
So then God says, those who lose their happiness and become weak definitely have Maya's shadow over them. Because any weakness invokes Maya. So what kind of weakness can somebody have? Let's say low self-esteem. What can low self-esteem lead to? Low self-esteem can lead to feeling sad about self, being too sensitive to people's words. Low self-esteem can lead to irritation, frustration. Low self-esteem can also lead to thinking that everybody is better than me and I've got something bad in me or any kind of fault. What other weaknesses can you think about? Any weakness which points towards mental and emotional instability. What can that be? Relating ourselves to anything physical in this world. Could be your certification, could be your marks, could be your financial situation. So if you think about your financial situation and if you think that I am not good enough, I don't have enough wealth, that can lead to irritation, frustration on a daily basis, can lead to depression even. So that is also a form of Maya. If Maya casts her shadow over you, even in your dreams, think about having a dream in which you are fighting with somebody. That means you are taking a revenge with somebody. Somebody said something to you in your office and you are going to sleep. And when you sleep, you are having a dream and you are having a fight. You are having a quarrel with your boss. You are fighting with that boss or you are giving back an answer to that boss. That is also a form of Maya which has overtaken you. That means even in your sleep, you are not able to sleep in the delta stage or the gamma stage with the least amount of thoughts. So that is sleeplessness again. Then God says, if Maya casts her shadow over you even in your dreams, you will continue to be distressed and will have to battle even in your dreams. Imagine no sleep as it is throughout the day you have been battling with those thoughts, what somebody said or how somebody behaved around you. And even, even in the sleep, you're having those dreams. What kind of condition will your body be in? What kind of mental state will you be in the next day? So stay constantly under the father's canopy of protection. Remembrance is the canopy of protection. Now what is remembrance? That is known as Raj Yoga meditation. Remembering God, taking his energy and only depending upon God for any kind of self-appreciation. Depending upon God for any kind of self-acceptance, self-realization and not depending upon any human being or any situation or any physical condition to define the self. That is what we learn in Pramakamaris. You too can learn this beautiful, infinite, divine knowledge that too for free in a center very close to your city. With this, Om Shanti.